beginning that you know I want to create something that is then scalable and it is replicable and how how are you thinking about that or did you think about that and how what kind of emphasis would you place on that in terms of thinking about what you're funding because mm -hmm. if the idea is really social change um, like a lot of the application had an emphasis on your specific <coughs> organization and sustainability of that organization as opposed to an emphasis on scalability and replicability and it, your outcomes were certainly about idea diffusion but I wasn't quite clear like how that was that was happening mm -hmm. so I was kind of curious on this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really important. Um, that doesn't mean that we don't want a local organization. Um, but we want deep or broad impact. And we only fund 20 and so therefore a year. So therefore it's a, an important piece of what we, we want that thinking immediately. And that's not to place a value on it that is, in other words, other, that's just what we do. And that's our, spe that's our niche and we should take a niche, right? Um, and so we actually go, th that's a large part of the second part of the process, our, our selection process. Um, and sometimes it's, it's not that same person who is going to replicate the organization, or the, but we want at least for them to be thinking about it. Um, and have some sort of sense of how if they are, if the change that they want to see is on a, a good track that, that that can be extended in some sort of sustainable way. Um, we also have seen a trend of just global organizations, um, which is really interesting. And we go, well, there's a lot of debate in our office about that because they're just they're, they're, they're thinking so big from the outset, right? And it's so exciting and so sexy, and, um, and they're so young, and they're, you know, go get them. And um, how do we balance that kind of really big, audacious thinking with the really authentic, deep programs that are in Cedar Falls, Iowa, right? Um, and so that's why we've also taken a bit of a portfolio, you know, within our 20, which again is small, a portfolio approach so that we can have both. And, we, and, we, and that's really important as well. I have that up from the beginning, and some of that is a streamlined model is more likely to be something that existing organizations can take on. I also talked to a ton of my colleagues in the field and said, what would you need in order to be able to do this? And they're like, I need a piece of research, right? Like, I need someone to do it first. I need it, them to do it in a bigger city than mine, which New York does quite well. And I need a piece of research that says it works. <coughs> and so a lot of it was also talking to those sites before I even started, kind of in the planning process, to figure out what aspect, how I could build it so that it would grow. And I think it also connects to the question of the kind of the founder complex too, which is about not creating a cult of personality. Like some people are like, oh, she's from the hood, and then she made it, and got a fancy degree, and she mediates gang truces, and it's all so cool and sexy. And you're like, actually, you sit down, you say, I'm sorry. They say, sorry's not enough. You say, what can I do? Say, do this. You do it. You're done. It's not that complicated. And so I think it's also about it connects to that thing of understating rather than overstating the model and the impact so that it is clear that it would be attainable by a range of people who decide to operationalize it instead of by, which is always in tension with the kind of what makes you unique and what makes, so it's, it's that balance, but I think some of it is also is connected to that efficiency.